Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to talk a little bit about honey buns. And I'm going to share some tips that I have with honey buns for you and some of my favorite quilts. I might even link a couple of projects that I don't have here to show, but that might be really fun for you if you just want to get started using these, these pre-cuts. And I have some of, actually just one of my quilts and a couple of my daughters to share with you. And then I'm also going to link some of my favorite honey bun quilt patterns by other Moda designers so that you can have a variety of, of projects to choose from. The first thing I wanna mention though, if you don't know what they are, is a honey bun is a roll of one and a half inch by width of fabric strips from an entire collection. So there will be at least one strip from every print in the collection and there are 40 strips total. Now sometimes you can find little mini honey bun collections at Fat Quarter Shop where they'll just take a portion and do maybe a 20 roll strip. So those are kind of a fun way to test the waters. And you can use them all together in a project or you can take them all apart and mix and match. I, we've had four collections now with Honey Buns. Uh, Harper's Garden, Summer Sweet, Balboa, and Happy Days all have Honey Buns available. And so it's been kind of my project to make a quilt that is mixing all of these. One tip, you'll notice there's lots of fluff, lint on these Honey Buns. And so if you take a lint roller and go over both sides before you unroll it, it's a great way to kind of reduce that from getting all over your clothes and all over your sewing room. So just a normal lint roller, uh, take it over a few times on each side and you'll be able to get rid of that lint. The other thing I want to mention before I show you the quilts is that they do have pinked edges. So you might want to sew um, a portion of a couple strips together and make sure how your quarter inch seam. So when you sew two honey bun strips together with a quarter inch seam, the resulting strip set should measure two and a half inches. And so just kind of know that, that there might, the, the pinking isn't really major on these. It's a very slight pink and I always sew from the outside edge and have never had a problem. But depending on your machine and your quarter inch, you, you might just wanna look at that before you get started. Okay, let's get started and I'll show you some of these quilts. The first one is Summer Stroll. And this is one of my brand new patterns with our Happy Days collection. And I actually did a full video on this quilt already, but you just need two honey buns and a layer cake for this quilt. It's a lot of fun. Another quilt is my daughter's Hearts at Home 2. Now she has a Hearts at Home quilt that's made with a jelly roll. But this one is super cute. It's Hearts at Home 2 and it's made with, with a honey bun. And I made, from using her pattern, I made a little wall hanging just using four blocks. So that's a fun way to use leftover honey bun strips if you have some. Okay, and this one that Chelsea made is called Horizon. And this one actually uses one honey bun and one jelly roll. So it's just a really fun option. This one I believe measures about 72 inches by 72 inches. My favorite honey bun quilt pattern that I've designed is actually hanging up in a quilt shop right now. But I'll show a picture up on the screen and it's called Weekender. And it uses a honey bun combined with a mini charm pack and goes together really fast and fun because when you sew with these honey buns all of the cutting is primarily done for you. I have another quilt I want to show you. I didn't write it as a honey bun pattern because we didn't have honey buns with this collection. I wrote it as a fat eighth pattern but you could definitely make it with a honey bun. And this is my patchwork garden quilt. As I mentioned, the Patchwork Garden Quilt is made with a fat eighth bundle because we didn't have honey buns at the time, but you could use a honey bun and save yourself a lot of time. You would need three honey buns for this quilt. It's, it's, it's a really nice size quilt and 
uh, you'd have a little bit left over, half of a strip of each honey bun left over, or you could make it perhaps a little bit bigger. But just a really fun quilt that isn't actually written as a honey bun pattern, but that works with your honey buns. So, and as I mentioned, I'll link some more of my favorite honey bun patterns by other Moda designers in the description below. Another thing that I wanted to show you today is what do you do when you want to cut your own honey bun strips from your own fabrics? These are great, but sometimes you might need to cut background strips the same size, or you might want to add something in, or maybe you have a favorite print and you want to get just a, an eighth yard and cut up a few extra strips to, to add in. I want to show you a couple products that I really recommend for your strip cutting. And they are the Stripology rulers. This is the, the big one, and it actually comes in a couple of other different versions. There's a, a more square one that you can use, but they have um, grooves so the, that your ruler lines right in. And if you're cutting one and a half inch strips, this ruler makes it super easy because all the stars are one and a half inches apart. So if you just line up your rotary cutter with the stars and cut in those grooves, then you'll be cutting one inch strips and it really saves a lot of time. And if you're cutting using smaller pieces of fabric, like maybe just a fat quarter or a fat eighth, or even a layer cake or charm pack and you need to cut one inch, half inch strips, this Stripology Mini is really nice. It's kind of gripped on the back so it will hold your fabric. And again, the same symbols, the stars are for the one and a half inch strips. And so you can use these tools to really easily help cut your, your own strips to use with all of these patterns. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about honey buns today, some of the tips and tricks that I use when I sew with them, and also seeing some projects that you can make with them, and additionally, how to cut them from your stash. And those stripology rulers just really are great. I have one more thing to share with you about honey buns, and that is that I will have a tutorial coming soon for a fun, scrappy honey bun block. And I think you'll be excited to see that and to make that block. I'm making a king size quilt using it. So I will tell you more about it in that video. Watch for it very soon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for stopping by.